and welcome back to yet another remote learning activity. Today is Thursday and on Thursdays we've been doing some writing in this little remote learning community we have going on. Today's writing activity is going to be a bit of a reflection and a bit of a gratitude practice is how I like to think about it. We are all in this unique situation of doing school at home and there are some not so great things about that, but there are also some great things about it. So today you're going to be doing a little um, list making, a little categorizing, uh, charting the pros and the cons of doing school at home. And when you think about the pros, those mean the positives, you're going to be showing some gratitude, reflecting on what's actually good about doing school at home. When you think about the con column, those are the negative things. Um, by thinking about what's not great about school at home, you're actually thinking about what is great about school at school. So it's nice to reflect on both of those and to show some gratitude towards both of those ways of doing school. So I'm gonna model mine for you and I'm gonna recommend that you come up with at least five things for each category. I'm sure you can probably come up with way more, but five is a good number to aim for as your minimum. Okay, so here we go. Here's mine. I've set my chart up. I've got school at home as my title, and then I've just made a T chart here. So a T chart looks like what? The letter T. On this side, I have a plus sign. So those are going to be the things that I think are good about having school at home. The positives, the pros is how we say that. P-R-O-S, the pros. And this side has a negative sign, and that means that those are the things that are the cons, the things that are not as great about having school at home. But this side is really gonna show us some of the things that are great about having school at school. So let me get started. I'm gonna color coordinate my chart here. So I'm gonna stick with my blue for my pluses, and I'm gonna begin there. What is actually a good thing about having school at home? Well, I don't know about you. I can't get my marker. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am sleeping a little bit later these days. Not a lot, but a little, and that's actually been really nice. So I'm gonna make this, um, I'm gonna write in not complete sentences because it would take me a long time and I don't wanna hold you here for too long watching me write. You can choose to write in full sentences if you want to, or if your parents tell you to, or you can choose to write in phrases, which is how I'm gonna do it today. But the important thing is to think reflect, show some gratitude, and get it down. So here's what I'm going to write. Can sleep later. That's one thing that's actually kind of nice about having school at home. Another thing that I've been enjoying about doing school at home is that I actually get to sit with my cup of coffee for a longer time because I don't have to drive to work anymore. So that means I get, instead of doing the commute, I actually sit there and I enjoy my cup of coffee, coffee and I sip it and it's actually been really nice. So I'm gonna say can spend longer with my coffee. And if you want, you're welcome to do this in picture form too, or to do little pictures. So I could do some Z's up here. I could do a little coffee cup down here. You make it your own. Something else that I am really enjoying is that I have been wearing my favorite pants a lot here at home. Not like once a week, but like every couple days. I do some laundry, wear them again, and nobody sees me, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna add that. Can wear my favorite pants more. I've got one super comfy pair that I love, 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 and those are the ones that I've been wearing a lot. Something else that has been great is that kind of like I mentioned here with my coffee, I don't have to commute to work. So I'm not driving and getting stuck in traffic and getting stressed out about getting to school later than I want to because I have a lot of preparing to do. So it's been nice not to have to do the commute in the morning and the commute in the afternoon too. So I'm writing no commute. I appreciate that a lot. Something else that's been nice is because I, I'm home already in the afternoon and because I'm not driving my kids to any practices, 
I get to take an afternoon walk most days and I love taking afternoon walks. It's a good little break for our day and the time that I do our walk is usually the time when I'm still at school preparing for the next day. So I'm putting can take afternoon walk. And then one more thing that I'm going to put here is that I have been really enjoying doing all these videos. This is not something that I've ever done before. And a lot of these lessons and activities are things that I can't really do in my classroom because we have other things we have to be working on. So that has been awesome for me. Can make fun videos. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these right now. So I'm gonna say that's good for my positive side, the things that I think are kind of cool about having school at home. Now let's get to the negative side, the things that are not so cool about having school at home. My first thing that I don't like is that I can't see my students and I really, really miss them. And that's why being having school at school is awesome because my students are there. So here's my negative can't see students. And along with that, I miss my coworkers too. I miss the other teachers at my school. I miss all the staff that I work with. They're all such amazing people and I miss seeing them every day. So can't see coworkers. <clears throat> Something else that I've been noticing is that I really do not like sitting down all day. And most of the day I'm sitting down on my computer, making lesson plans, writing back to parents, trying to do my Google Classroom. It takes a lot of time at my computer and my body doesn't like it. My body hurts when I sit down for that long. Usually in the classroom, I'm walking here and there and bending it up and going to the office and making copies and coming back. And I do a lot more moving, I guess. I didn't realize how much I moved during a regular day, but. That has been not the greatest about being at home. So I'm gonna put, I don't like sitting at a computer. And I'm gonna make a little speech bubble. Ouch, is what it says. And then something else that I don't like is that I haven't been able to teach some of my favorite lessons because I just can't do it this way. There are things that we need to be together in the classroom, my students and I, and have materials. And I'm really missing some of those lessons that I look forward to this time of year that I just can't do. Can't teach some favorite lessons. All right, I can keep going. One of my favorite parts of the school day is doing a read aloud and I don't get to do that right now. I can't, and when I do my read aloud, I read and I get to hear all the kids' thoughts about the story. And so we get to share these amazing stories together and that just isn't happening. So I really miss that. So I'm gonna say no read alouds with kids. That has been a major bummer. Um, this kind of ties in with I can't see my students, but I can't hear my students either. I really miss their voices and I miss hearing their thoughts. They share their thinking with me all day long and it's been such a bummer not to be able to hear their thoughts about everything that I'm doing and everything I'm teaching. Not what I'm doing, but what I'm teaching them. So can't hear students. Voices and my and signed and sign and thoughts. Something else that's been really hard is that I can't really help my students. When I'm in the classroom, I spend all day long helping them and making things easier, making sure they understand. But I'm on this side of a screen and they're on that side, and I can't really do much help from there. And that has been really frustrating for me. I'm sad about it. help students 
And the last thing I'm going to put on here is that the technology is kind of tricky. I keep trying something one way and then it doesn't quite work and I have to go back and figure it out. And I'm learning a lot, right? Like these fun videos, that's definitely a positive, but it's kind of frustrating and I'm spending way more time doing something that I feel like should take a lot less time. So that's been something that's really hard too. So I'm just going to write down tricky tech. Now, when you're done making your list, I want you to just reflect on what you put there and come up with one final sentence that sums up how you feel about doing school at home. So when I look at my list here, I can see immediately that I have more things on the negative side. And the things on the negative side are things that I really feel strongly about. So I'm going to say that, here, I'm going to write this as I talk. Oh my, this marker is stuck again. <clears throat> so here we go. Although there are benefits, that means good things, to doing school at home, school is better at school. I'm going to put three exclamation points there. I'm not sure. Oh, you probably can't see that, can you? Here, I'll show you. Tip that just so you can see what I wrote. There it is. You might come up with a different final sentence. You might not feel the same way. You might think that you have way more things that are good than things that are negative. And so you might feel that school at home is better than school at school. You are entitled to your opinion, whatever it is. But take some time today to reflect and to have some gratitude for what is good about what's going on and what was good about school being the regular way and do a little bit of writing. A cheat chart is a great thing that you can use in so many situations and it's easy to set up. So I hope today that you do some writing and some thinking about this whole school at home situation that we've got going on and share it with somebody when you're done. Let them know your thoughts. They might be surprised by some things that you are appreciating about being at home and they might be surprised by some things that you really miss about being at school or maybe not. Take care. See you next time.